Hello friends, welcome to the third tutorial of M-derived high pass filter in the series of network analysis and synthesis. And by this time we know the uh, basic understanding of why we design an M-derived filter out of a constant K filter. Now please understand we need to design a T and Phi section of an M-derived high pass filter in this tutorial and we have been given the design impedance, the cutoff frequency and the infinite attenuation frequency also. So as discussed in the previous tutorial we first need to visualize the response of this filter in question. So this filter is a high pass filter it should start uh, passing the signals of 4 kilohertz so this is our cutoff frequency and above so this is our uh, pass band so this is 4 kilohertz but what is actually happening is that it has started to pass signals after 3.6 kilohertz so below 3.6 kilohertz it was not passing any signal but as it reached the point of 3.6 kilohertz it has started to pass some amount of signal and at uh, 4 kilohertz it, it started to completely pass the signals with an attenuation of 0 and before 3.6 the attenuation was infinity so this is the the range of frequencies in question so this is a questionable range we do not want this range to be there at all so that is why we design M derived filters so by this time we know that the first step is to um, design the uh, prototype K filter for that we have all the requirements um, we simply need the component C and L and we can find it through 1 upon 4 pi fcr naught which is the formula to calculate uh, the value of c so if you substitute the value of fc to be equivalent to 4 kilohertz and r naught to be 600 you get fc to be 0 0.033 microfarad and similarly L is 600 upon 4 pi into 4000 it comes out to be 11.94 milli henry and <coughs> I always suggest that you substitute these values here uh, so this becomes point 066.066 L is 11.94 and the C is 0.33 so twice of L is about 23 and this is 23 so this is the constant K type filter and we need to modify this filter and modify this filter by the way this is the T section this is the pi section you know that and the series arm contains capacitor the shunt arm contains inductor for a high pass filter so we need to modify it to M derived filter where uh, the values of uh, 2C they are changed to 2C by M in the series arm and the value of L in the shunt arm changes to L by M and an additional component uh, which is dependent upon the series arm is 4M upon 1 minus M square into C so this is the modification that we need to do to make an M derived high pass filters T section and uh, you could note down the modification in the pi section this shunt inductors they are 2L they become 2L by M in M derived filter 
and this capacitor becomes C by M and it is accompanied by a parallel uh, in impedance of 4M upon 1 minus M square into L in the series arm. So now the first requirement is to calculate M which is F infinity upon FC in this case because it is a high pass filter so substituting the values here so there is 3.6 into 10 to the power 3 upon 4 into 10 to the power 3 it's given in kilohertz so you need to change that so you get 0.436 once again I want to reiterate the fact that the value of M will remain between 0 and 1 and by using this value of M and these values of C and L that we calculated here so values of C, L and M will give me the component values here so uh, 2C by M will become L by M will become 27.39 millihenry and this becomes 0 0.071 microfarad and I have these values already calculated and 2L by M is 54.78 millihenry C by M is 0 0.76 microfarad and this is 11.937 millihenry so, so you simply need to place these values here this becomes 27.39 millihenry this becomes 0 0.71 0 0.071 microfarad and substituting the component values is uh, pretty easy and once you do that in this circuit you basically provided the complete solution to the problem and this becomes 11.937 so you need to finally substitute the component values in the <coughs> network this two port network and this two port network is M derived high pass filter T section and this will give us a very sharp response like this so this is 4000 and this goes up to infinity from 0 to FC uh, attenuation is supposed to be infinity and attenuation is 0 for an M derived filter so I hope these steps are clear and um, the video lecture helped and if you liked the content consider subscribing to the channel share the good word I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye